Hey friend, are you searching for a podcast that partners faith and entrepreneurship? A toolkit of tactical how-tos to start or grow your online business God's way? Hop over and check out The Stephanie Gash Show, a top 0.5% podcast for women who are ready to create impact and income without sacrificing family or their faith. Listen in to over 500 episodes on biblical business training, clarity on your niche, podcasting, monetizing, and so much more. That's S-T-E-F-A-N-I-E-G-A-S-S, The Stephanie Gass Show. I pray it blesses you. Good morning, my friend. I hope you're doing well. It's dark outside. It's early. Um, I've been dealing with Psalm 116 in my quiet time and prayer time. There's so much going on in Psalm 116. Um, It's the song from which Tommy Walker took um, inspiration and wrote his song, I Love the Lord, which I'll play for you now. We declare that he's faithful. We declare that he's powerful and mighty and miracle working, that he's full of grace and full of love. We declare those things and we remind the enemy of those things and we remind ourselves and the person next to us and we sing these great attributes of God over our lives. Amen. And then God fights our battles for us. This is from Psalm 116. I love the Lord. He heard my desperate cry for mercy. I love the Lord. He heard my voice. He heard my cry. He turned his ear when I called for mercy. For the nations can sing it louder. Come on, say, Oh, for he is good, yeah. For he is good, yeah. Oh, yes, he is good. Yeah. And I love the Lord. He heard my voice. He heard my cry. goodness, Lord. Oh, and my soul finds rest, for he is come to save me. Oh, my Desperate cry, he turned his ear when I call for mercy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
He heard my cry. Come on, for me is good. Yeah, for he is good. Are you ready to change your life? If the answer is yes, there's only one rule. You have to change your mind first. And my friend, there's a place where the neuroscience of how your mind works smashes together with faith and everything starts to make sense. That place is called self-brain surgery. You can learn it and it will help you become healthier, feel better, and be happier. And the good news is you can start today. Thanks, Lisa. Hey, so glad to have you listening today. I'm Dr. Lee Warren, and I live in Nebraska in the United States of America with my incredible wife, Lisa, my father-in-law, Tata, and the super pups, Harvey and Lewis. I'm a neurosurgeon and an author, and I'm here to help you harness neuroscience, the power of your brain, faith, the power of your spirit, and good old common sense to help you lead a healthier, better, happier life. Listen, friend, you can't change your life until you change your mind, and I'm here to help you learn the art of self-brain surgery. To get it done, you can get the show notes and more at drleewarren.podbean.com. That's drleewarren.podbean.com, and if you'd like the show please subscribe so you never miss an episode and tell your friends about it. If you tell two or three friends this podcast was helpful to you, imagine how much good we can all do around the world together. I'm Dr. Lee Warren, and I'm here to help you change your mind so you can change your life. Let's get after it. Now let me just read um, a little bit to you. Psalm 116. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. The cords of death entangled me. The anguish of the grave came over me. I was overcome by distress and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Lord, save me. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the unwary. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. For you, Lord, delivered me from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I trusted in the Lord when I said, I am greatly afflicted. In my alarm, I said, everyone is a liar. When I got to this passage, it reminded me of an old gospel song I love uh, called Everything's Gonna Be All Right. I've got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. I'll play that for you now. Everything gonna be 
song love gospel music um and th- that song basically this verse is he's saying i am saying i'm greatly afflicted i'm saying everybody's lying to me he's dealing with the reality that negative hard things are happening but at the same time he's remembering that he trusts the lord so all this stuff is going on everybody's lying everything's hard he's de- literally in physical danger but he also knows that he can trust the lord this is two things being true at the same time so he's not He's stressed out and he's worried, but he's not despondent because he knows the Lord is there. And his response to all of that is this. What shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. I found this passage from Dane Ortland. Dane Ortland, of course, recently on the podcast, he sent me a copy of a new book that he had, In the Lord I Take Refuge. It's a work through every psalm. It's just a beautiful devotional book. I'll put a link in the show notes. But here's this is a little passage he wrote about Psalm 116. Does the Bible try to lift you out of your real life, your life in which pain is so pervasive that at times you can think of nothing except life's difficulties? Does the Bible try to bring you into a softer reality than the one you're immersed in? Does the Bible minimize or neglect adversity? Not at all. Verse 3, I suffered distress and anguish. Verse 6, I was brought low. Verse 8, tears. Verse 8, stumbling. Verse 11, alarm. The Bible is filled with utter realism, friend. The Bible does not teach that you are able to get out of your pain and into God the way that some other world religions might. The Bible teaches that God comes out of heaven and into your pain. Read that again. The Bible teaches that God comes out of heaven and into your pain. We do not come to God on the other side of pain, but God comes to us in our pain. Here's why. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is merciful. As a result, he meets us and delivers us. He may not remove the adversity, but he will keep and comfort the one who looks to him with a solace that transcends whatever is happening circumstantially all around him. We will then find ourselves wondering, what can I do? What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits to me in verse 12? Okay, here's the deal, friend. Things are going to happen. It's going to be hard. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to make the wrong decision. You're going to have a fight with your spouse. You're going to have all kinds of issues. Somebody's going to get cancer. You're going to, life's hard, right? It's hard. But you can know, you can trust in the Lord before you get to those things. Hey friend, are you searching for a podcast that partners faith and entrepreneurship? A toolkit of tactical how-tos to start or grow your online business God's way? Hop over and check out The Stephanie Gass Show, 
a top 0.5% podcast for women who are ready to create impact and income without sacrificing family or their faith. Listen in to over 500 episodes on biblical business training, clarity on your niche, podcasting, monetizing, and so much more. That's S-T-E-F-A-N-I-E-G-A-S-S, The Stephanie Gass Show. I pray it blesses you. And then you can then turn around and see how he's going to help you get through them. And at the end of the day, the only thing you have left is, what can I say but thank you? As Paul Balash said, we're going to finish with that song in a minute. What can I say but thank you? He says, what can I do for the Lord for all that he's done for me? How can, what can I render to him when he's done all these things for me? Let's pray. Father God, my heart is heavy this morning. I'm just, I'm just feeling a lot of life right now. And I know that my friend here's listening with us is too. Things are hard. The cords of death entangle us sometimes. But we trust you. We know that you're going to carry us through them. We got a feeling everything's going to be all right because it always has before. You've always carried us through. We're here today listening to this podcast because you've made us get through it. You've helped us get through it. And we're grateful, Father. What can we say but thank you for all that you've done for us? In this quiet moment this morning before we get into our busy day, we just want to remember that although life is hard, You never tell us that we have to get it all right before we can come to you. You tell us that you'll get up out of your chair and come to us in our pain. And because of that, we know we can trust you this time and the next time and the time after that. And all we can say is thank you. We love you, God. We thank you. Please help my friend here to be able to work through whatever they're dealing with today and find their way to say, what can I say? But thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, here's Paul Balash. He's going to finish this thought about Psalm 116 by saying, what can I say but thank you? God bless you, friend. I'll see you tomorrow with Tuesdays with Tata. Sunset's glory, amazing artistry across the evening sky. When I feel the mystery of a distant galaxy, it awes and humbles me to be loved by a God so high. What can I do?
what can I do, Lord, but thank you? And what can I do but give my life to you? Hallelujah, hallelujah. What can I do but praise you every day? Make everything I do. Hey, thanks for listening. The Dr. Lee Warren podcast is listener supported. Check out patron.podbean.com slash Dr. Lee Warren. That's patron.podbean.com slash Dr. Lee Warren. Patrons and partners get free books, transcripts, special patron only episodes and more. And partners like you allow us to stay ad free and keep growing. Please subscribe to the show so you automatically get every episode. And if you like the show, you'll love my weekly letter. Check out my writing at drleewarren.substack.com, drleewarren.substack.com. Com. Get the free newsletter every week for my best prescriptions for becoming healthier, feeling better, and being happier through the power of faith and neuroscience smashing together via self-brain surgery. Dr. Lee Warren. Substack.com. And if you need prayer, go to the prayer wall at wleewarnmd.com slash prayer. The theme music for the show is Make Us One by Tommy Walker, graciously provided for free by the great folks over at tommywalkerministries.org. Check it out and consider supporting them, tommywalkerministries.org. Remember, you can't change your life until you change your mind. And the good news is you can start today. I'm Dr. Lee Warren. I'll talk to you soon. God bless you, friend. Have a great day.